Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome students for the French guidance lecture. In today's guidance lecture, we are going to discuss about the CBSE French paper and as students what you need to take care while you are attempting this paper in your board exams. So, let's see each of the aspects in your French paper one by one. But before we look into the paper, let's understand how many sections are there in your French CBSE paper. In your French CBSE paper, it has in total four section, which is section A, section B, section C and section D. Let's have a look at each of these sections one by one as we go ahead. But before that, let's have a look at the mark allotment for each of this section. The time given to write this paper will be for three hours and the entire paper consists of 80 marks. The section A consists of reading comprehension, which consists of 10 marks. Section B is your writing skill topic, which consists of 20 marks. Section C is purely assessing students on grammar, which is of 30 marks. And section D is culture et civilisation for 20 marks. With this, you are going to write a paper of 80 marks. Let's see and let's understand how you students are going to allot time for each of this section. As the time given to write this paper is of 3 hours, let's see for section A, you're going to spend around 35 minutes. For section B, you're going to spend around 45 minutes. Section C, you're going to spend around 45 minutes again. And section D is 35 minutes. So in total, the whole paper should get over by in 180 minutes. The extra 20 minutes as students, you're going to spend in uh, revising the whole paper checking the paper if any minute, minute mistakes have been done or not. Let's have a look at the sections one by one. The section A as we discussed earlier is comprehension which is a reading comprehension. Unseen passage would be given to you all and the unseen passage can be a factual, descriptive or a picture based. For the past few years we have seen it's generally a picture based comprehension which is given uh, in the exam. Okay, which consists of 150 to 200 words. And the type of questions which are asked in comprehension are true or false, short answer questions of two, two marks each, vocabulary based questions which can be in the form of fill in the blank, they can ask you a noun form, verb form, they can also ask you all opposites or synonyms. And for language expressions, they can ask you to find words like adjectives, adverbs from the passage. Right? So let's have a look at the last year's board paper, how, what, what kind of comprehension was asked and let's also understand how to crack the section A, which is an unseen comprehension. So dear students, in your 35 minutes, make sure that you follow these four steps which will be seen as of now. The first step is give the passage a quick reading. Go through the entire passage given to you all because understanding the passage is a very important aspect in this particular section. If the second step is you should read the passage again wherein it should be a slow reading wherein you try to understand what the text talks about or what the text is discussing. Please if it's a picture based text or a comprehension understand the picture, read the content given in the picture thoroughly because one question will be definitely from the image given in your paper. The third step is to read the question, understand the question carefully and try to find the answer from the passage given to you. Make sure students you will definitely find a hint word both in the passage and in the question. Try to find the hint word in the passage wherein you will be able to locate the answer. 
and the fourth step is to know your textual vocabulary well make sure students that you are thorough with the textual vocabulary a lot of questions like fill in the blanks find the adjective add verbs are the words which will be from your textbook or which you have gone through in your textbook so this is how if you are doing it step by step scoring 10 marks in comprehension will be really easy for you so this is how the comprehension looks like in your section a it's a picture based comprehension with questions being followed which fetches in total 10 marks which has a question answer true and false and finding the vocabulary from the text here the question answers are allotted 2 marks each and there's an internal option also given out here so in total you are going to spend around 35 minutes to attempt this particular question make sure that you thoroughly reading the entire passage understanding it carefully and then attempting the answer the way the marks will be allotted when it comes to attempting question answer will be one mark for the main answer or the keyword used and one mark will be allotted for the sentence formation true or false will be directly allotted one mark as per the answers written no Uh, marks would be deducted for not writing any articles or minor mistakes being done it will be overlooked in your exams but make sure as students you use the correct articles spellings because it's a language paper going ahead to the next section is expression écrite which is your writing skill which will be allotted 20 marks in your exam and the different writing skills which will be asked to you all let's have a look at the different writing skills which will be asked in your exam it will be one long composition which you need to attempt it is basically a letter writing which has to be written in 80 words and two short compositions which will be from 30 to 50 words that you need to write and this uh, uh, consist of different writing skill topic let's have a look at that So the type of questions that are asked under section B is informal letter which is a compulsory topic internal options will be provided to you all the second is message writing the third is putting the dialogues in a logical sequence and the fourth is completing the text with the clues provided so this is how your section B looks like the first question is your letter writing there are three options being given out of which you have to attempt one in the second question out of the internal three options you have to attempt any two topics with between message writing putting the dialogues in order and completing the paragraph with the appropriate word let's have a look at each of this one by one the first question and the section b as we saw it's a uh, letter writing there are three options the three options which are given are based on your anthrojeune textbook the chapters which you have come across based on that the topics are asked it's a pure informal letter that you need to attempt no formal letter will be asked in this particular question so you need to take care of the following things the format of the letter consist of four marks idea and creativity consist of four marks content accuracy in interpretation presentation and the cohesion of thoughts consist of two marks overall any grammatical error two marks would be deducted for that and misinterpretation of topic again will be two marks will be deducted but make sure that you read the topic or the question carefully and based on the topic you elaborate your letter going to the next question is your message writing a message writing has to be in 50 to 60 words within 50 words let's see how the marks are allotted in this only one mark will be deducted for the misinterpretation of the topic format of the topic consists of two marks wherein you are writing the address name uh, you have to make a box in a message writing 
So all these uh, aspects will give you two marks and the content and the grammar part will be allotted three marks. It's a very easy question to attempt. Again, it's an informal type. There's no formal uh, topics that would be asked in this particular question. Moving on to the next one is Mettez le dialogue en ordre. The dialogue uh, is given in a jumbled form. You have to put it in the correct order. So any logical progression of the dialogue should be considered by the board. Any two sentences wrongly placed, half mark is deducted. Any two related or linked sentences positioned has to be given one mark and one mark to be given for appropriate beginning or ending. My dear students, in this particular question, possibility of scoring five marks is very much positively done. If you are reading the text or the dialogue thoroughly, try to find the beginning of the dialogue and the end of the dialogue. If you are able to locate these two things in the paper, then the continuity of the dialogue and the progression of the dialogue becomes very easy to you all. So when you are attempting the Nettila dialogue or Ordre, before you start writing the answer in your answer sheet, read it thoroughly, try to number it as in which is the first dialogue followed by second, third, fourth and so on. After you have numbered it, try to read as per the chronological order that you have given. And once you are thorough with your dialogue, then start writing the dialogue in your answer paper. Moving on to the third option is your using the words in the correct order. This is the last option that I would advise you all to attempt because here you may go wrong with using the words appropriately. So the first two options that we discussed which is message writing and putting the dialogues in order is the most appropriate one that we should go with. Moving on to the next section is section C which consists of grammar and the types of questions which are asked is verbs and tenses, discourse direct and direct, trouver la question au météo négatif, under this you have an option, you have to attempt any one, then you have le pronom possessive et le pronom demonstrative, again you have an option between these two. The fifth question is a prono relative composé et le prono personnel. And the last question under grammar is le subjonctif. Let's have a look at each of these questions one by one. Under section C, the first question is on tenses. The tenses which you have learnt in 9th standard and 10th standard, all the tenses will be a part of this particular question. Please read the sentence carefully. Identify the hint words and then conjugate the verb given as per the subject. Because when they are assessing this particular question, the mark allotment would be identification of tense will be given half mark and correct conjugation will be allotted half mark. So this is how for each sentence one mark is allotted. Make sure that you thoroughly read the sentence. Identify the subject noun or pronoun and then conjugate the verb as per the tense that you have identified. Right. Moving on to the next one, which is this could rapport or this could direct and direct. Okay, again, you have to attempt five questions out here, which consist of five marks. Both tenses and this could direct and direct are compulsory questions, my dear students. Make sure that you practice these two topics thoroughly. Internal options will be provided, but you cannot afford to omit these two topics. So make sure that you are practicing regularly. The mark distribution will be 
no marks would be cut for punctuation obviously from direct to indirect punctuation marks are not used but definitely from indirect to direct punctuation marks will be used if at all you forget then marks won't be deducted in the entire question half mark may be deducted for two to three mistakes that has happened and any relevant verb other than the uh, verb given in the principal clause may be accepted as in the verbs which are not or you are using other than asked in the question it will be granted it won't be considered as a mistake but try to use the verb which is used in the question given to you moving on to the next part is trouver la question okay and the trouver la question you have a sentence given for which you have to frame a question so under this particular question you have to make sure that you're using an appropriate wh word the verb which is in the statement has to be written in the inversion form and the most important thing my dear students is do not forget to put the question mark which is very important in this particular question with trouver la question you have an option which is to write the sentence in the negative form whichever you are comfortable with you can attempt it now in répondre aux questions suivant la forme négative you have to write the statement in the negative form for the question asked so whenever you are attempting this question most of the negative word will be a negative expression which is ne jamais ne rien ne personne then uh, uh ni ne plus and so on so you have to identify which is an appropriate negative word which fits into the sentence okay which will consist of half marks okay you have to answer the question in the negative form make sure you don't have to write the question in the negative form you have to write an answer in the negative form usage of the rule wherein you have a indefinite or a partitive article in the sentence it will change to de and obviously because it's a question asked and you have to answer for that question you have to change the person for example if the question is being asked in the tu or the vu form you will answer in the je form but if the question is asked in third person person changes not required moving on to the next part which is remplir les bons par des adjectifs ou les pronoms possessifs so if you see over here there are two blanks which is given or which you as students need to decide where are you going to use a possessive adjective and where you going to use a possessive pronoun each sentence consists of one mark that means each blank will be allotted half a mark and make sure that you use the appropriate adjective and pronoun as per the rule that we have learnt similarly goes for compléter par les adjectifs ou les pronoms démonstratifs you have to use a demonstrative pronoun or an adjective two blanks in a sentence half mark will be allotted and even a small mistake that half mark would be deducted entirely so make sure you identify the number and gender of the noun and use the correct possessive adjective or demonstrative adjective and accordingly as per the noun you have to also use the possessive pronoun and a demonstrative pronoun the next part is again an option between two topics one is a uh, relier le phrase par les pronoms relatifs simples ou composés so as per the sentence you need to decide whether you're going to use a relative pronoun simple or a relative pronoun composé now here in this particular question asked in the board paper there are two sentences wherein you have to uh, frame one sentence using the appropriate relative pronoun simple ou composé now in this particular question can also be asked in a different form which is in a fill in the blank form so you have to be very careful 
because in a fill in the blank form half mark is allotted for the appropriate preposition and half mark will be allotted to a pronoun if it's a pronoun relative composite but if it's given in a sentence form then using an appropriate relative pronoun will be given half a mark and rewriting the phrase appropriately will be given half mark so make sure that you try and write a meaningful sentence when you're attempting this particular topic and with this you also need to identify whether for the sentence you're going to use a pronoun relative sampler or pronoun relative composite with this particular question you have another option which is rompli sili musili nie par le prono personnel now with your personal pronouns which is le prono suje prono emphatic uh, uh, then objet dire objet and dire you also have to separate pronouns le prono e and o and the possibility is they can underline two nouns in the same sentence which is you also need to remember the usage of multiple pronoun placement the here marks allotted will be half mark for identification of the pronoun for the noun underlined and half mark will be given for the placement of the pronoun now as students you need to understand or identify in which topic you are the best moving to the last part of grammar which is mete o subjunctive again five marks are allotted for this particular question okay and you need to conjugate the verb given in the bracket in the appropriate form wherein one mark is directly allotted for that because here you don't need to identify all the verbs given in the sentence needs to be conjugated in subjunctive the last section the section d which is culture et civilisation which consists of 20 marks here they are going to assist you all purely on the textbook that you are referring to which is on trojan over here questions based on textbook from lesson 2 to 8 and the 10th chapter will be asked to you all which is in total for 16 marks and another four marks are allotted for value based questions or a personal response questions so make sure that you're thoroughly reading the textbook making sure that all the important uh, aspects discussed in the textbook the question answers are learnt on that students won't be assessed on uh, uh, from the a section of pur ali tulwa and je de couvre they are purely for understanding the culture and the civilization of france so questions based on that won't be asked in your exam let's have a look at the type of questions which are asked in your paper your entre jeune textbook consists of 12 chapters but as per the uh, portion put across by the board you will have chapters which is from chapter 2 to chapter 8 and chapter 10 the remaining chapters are omitted the type of questions which are asked are short answers value based questions finding the odd one match the following fill in the blanks or true or false from say, uh, uh, pointers 3 to 6 they can ask any of it with an option so make sure that you prepare for all type of questions which we have listed over here for the exam because they can ask you any of it they can ask you an odd man out or a match the following or a fill in the blanks they can ask you a match the following fill in the blanks or true or false there can be any kind of combinations that can be asked in your paper it keeps changing so make sure that textbook reading is done by all before your exams in the board paper the first question under section d is répondre aux questions again you have to attempt five questions uh, which will be given 10 marks if you it's written correctly and let's see 
how it has been assessed by the corrector. Answers expressed in student's own word will be considered. One mark for answering the question correctly, writing that main keyword, and one mark for answering in the correct sentence formation. Missing or incorrect accents, minor spelling would be considered and it will be overlooked until and unless it's not a major spelling mistake which has been done by all. And in the exam, if you happen to attempt all seven questions being asked, the best five answers will be considered and the marks will be allotted because it's a foreign language paper. So here you can attempt all seven questions if you know it and the best will be considered. The remaining set of questions consist of fill in the blanks wherein the options are given to you all. You have to use the appropriate word as per the sentence. Then you have a match to following which is again for five marks and the last question out here is true or false which is way of four again for five marks. So between match the following and true or false you have to attempt any one whereas fill in the blanks is a compulsory topic that you need to attempt. So with this the total 20 marks are allotted under section D and for all the questions under section D majorly the students will be assessed and how well you have gone through each and every chapter of your textbook. So students, this is how you're going to write the entire 80 mark paper in your CBSE boards for French. Make sure that you pay attention to the mark allocation Pay attention to the grammar part because it has a major weightage in your overall paper. And similarly, for a mistake which has happened in grammar, you equally lose a lot of marks. So make sure that you're thoroughly practicing and revising your grammar concepts and writing or practicing this paper regularly till your board exam is the most important thing. Here in this particular subject, writing becomes very important because it's a foreign language paper. You need to know the spellings, you need to know the pronunciation, the sentence formation. All of it is important to score full marks in this particular subject. I hope this session was important to you all with respect to do well and score 80 on 80 in French. This is Chetna Shetty signing off now. Bonne chance pour les exams.